Hello, hello. Welcome to the FIFA Mobile Show, everybody. I'm your host, Antoine. It's good to be back on the show. See, chat is going already. We've got our new FIFA World Cup Twitch layout. Look at this. We've got our logo up there, nicely animated. We've got some new kind of panels. FIFA World Cup branded over here. We're, we're excited for the, uh, for the event, obviously. You guys have been playing the tournament mode. It's been a lot of fun. The actual tournament is starting this Sunday. Matches all next week, so. It's, uh, we're, we're in full World Cup mode here. Um, so it's, it's, it's exciting times. Um, how is everybody doing? I'm seeing chat is going off already. It's good to see you guys. See a lot of names I recognize. Um, see folks like Wix in there, see Ruben, see uh, who else do I see here that I recognize? A uh, couple other names. See some folks coming in from Brazil. Good to see you guys. I'm doing good. Um, I'm just excited for the, the World Cup to start. I, I just can't wait. It's probably my favorite sporting event. Comes every four years. It's it's great. Oh, see FIFA Mobile Jason in the chat. Awesome. Not wearing black. I, it's kind of my, my, my thing at this point. I'm wearing like the black hat and the black t-shirt. I don't know. I feel like I can't break the trend. Oh, hello, Total Mobile. Good to see you guys in here. Awesome. Where is everybody tuning in from? I see a lot of Brazil folks coming in. That's great to see. I know we get a, a lot of Indians coming in, which is awesome. Where are you guys checking in from? Egypt, Nigeria, Guyana. Interesting. Got France, Greece. Global, global audience. Romania, nice. Italy, US, Mexico, Costa Rica, Peru. Gonna try to do as many country shout outs as I can here. And so many different countries and nations. This is awesome here. It's great. I'm tuning in here from Canada. I don't I don't see a lot of Canadians in the chat here, but I see a lot of Brazilians, see a lot of see some Colombians, Spain. You guys are putting your, your flags in there. That's awesome. It's uh it's gonna be an exciting couple weeks on FIFA Mobile. I mean, already we had the tournament mode go live um last week, which is awesome. I've been playing that, it's been fun. Um, I know you guys have all been sharing your uh, your tournament wins. I've seen a lot of those screenshots taking different countries to the World Cup finals and winning or kind of having like special World Cup um, themes that you're doing to get there. People going on legendary, um, which I'm actually curious to know in chat. How difficult have you found the tournament mode? Have you found legendary difficulty actually difficult? Because I've seen some people winning that mode with some low rated teams and it's very impressive but i also want to know from chat here have you found the tournament mode difficult are you stuck what's kind of been your feeling on this i'm seeing here world class is easier than legendary is that maybe the way that the ai plays could be i'm seeing a lot of people saying easy someone's like i won legendary with qatar no problem I mean, the, I think the best team though to pick if you want an easy, easy way through legendary is probably picking like a Brazil or a France. Those tend to be the, the easiest ones I've seen. And actually in terms of like opponents that have been difficult, Brazil has been a little tricky to get through. They are definitely a difficult team with the AI to get through. So tournament mode obviously has been going on for a bit. Um, kind of our first taste of World Cup. Um, obviously, we'll we'll go through the live event in a little bit here. However, just do have a little bit of um, notes to go through before we get in there. First one being I have in my notes here is to just mention the 99 OVR David Beckham enhanced base icon that we're giving out to everybody when you log in. Um, there are some folks that I think have not received it yet. Um, we're still looking at how we can get that out to everybody. Um, because I know it's going to be great for a lot of your squads. Obviously, the people here in the chat right now, you're probably not using 99 OVR Beckham in your team. You've probably got center mids or other midfielders that are way above that. But I know some folks that check in on the show 
might have some use for them. So just letting you know, if you haven't received them, we are working to get them into your account as soon as we can. So um, that was our, my first little piece of business to mention. The second one as well, um, actually I'll do the, the pose. I think I know there's a lot of people who got the, the emote on Discord. So I'll give you another one there to work with. Um, but it was uh, highlights of the month. So if you remember, we used to have a little segment called highlights of the month on our shows back in during the summer um, in June when we started. We haven't done them in a little bit. Things have been kind of busy. We've been doing other stuff. However, we want to bring back highlights of the month for World Cup. And specifically, we want you to submit goals that you've scored with national teams in the World Cup mode. So we're going to be putting a link, obviously, in our socials. The existing highlights of the month link still works if you want to submit your clips. However, we're looking for this upcoming highlights of the month is teams. Um, there we go. Thank you, Jason, for dropping in the link. We want you, though, to submit goals you've scored in the World Cup tournament, the FIFA World Cup tournament. Um, I think there's going to be some awesome goals there. Kind of goes with a the theme, and we're going to pick a few of the top goals that we noticed there and, and make a really nice video. So um, we got the link in chat there. We'll also post a kind of a reminder on Twitter and other socials. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. Um, I did also see someone say make another pose for an emote. I'll, I'll, you'll find some coming up. Don't worry. I'll make sure to. I think I would, this is the one that we had last time. If you want to, if you want to do that one. Can't really give you much more than that though. So those were the two pieces of business wanted to get to first. Um, however, I think everyone on the chat, we're looking for one thing, folks. We want to talk about the World Cup, FIFA World Cup event. And what we want to show first here, you guys have all probably seen it, but we'll pull it up on screen is the player item art video. So let's pull up the video here on screen. As you can see here, it's just six nations we're showing. In this, in the live event, these are how the player items are gonna look. Each country will have the flag as their background. So it's, I know some people kinda had mixed reactions when they looked at this player item when we released it yesterday. However, it looks really, really nice when you have the player action shots on top. With the national kits, it looks real, real nice. So I know I see a few L's in chat. I remember seeing a few L's on Discord and Twitter. That is fine. You're seeing them right now without the players on top. With the players, it takes it to a new level. Again, that's my opinion. You guys can have your own opinion. I just think it's a little tough to tell without the, the players on there. But we will have some screenshots to share about that um, shortly. Um, so I think we may do, I don't know if we'll pull up a poll here because I feel like it's just going to be mixed. And as I said, it's tough to get a real opinion on it when you haven't seen the players on there like for example when you see like the england item with an english player in the english national kit it looks real nice but again that's my opinion so that was what we had to go through here um with fifa world cup 22 live event coming up on thursday so this tomorrow basically the 17th at reset um so we have that event coming up and who better than to go over the live event with you than none other than Trey. He's been on our show before. You all know him. He is one of the designers on the FIFA mobile team. Welcome, Trey, to the stream. Thank you. Thank you, Antoine. I'm glad to be back. It's only been a little bit of time, but I missed y'all. Community loves Trey. They're, look at all the, the dubs in the chat for Trey. It's good to have you back on. Are you excited for World oh, Cup? Man. Am I excited? Dude, I am so hyped for this. It's gonna be one of the funnest events we've created in a long time. I cannot wait to show it off. I'm excited too. I've seen some glimpses of it. Um, there's just so much to go through. I think players are gonna love it. Community's gonna have a blast. Um, I can't wait for you to actually walk us through this event as well. I think getting a designer's point of view as someone who's in there working on the event, um, it's, it's really exciting. So if you're ready, are you ready to, to jump into this? Oh, I'm ready. Is chat ready to hop into this? <laughs> that is the thing. Chat, are you guys ready? All right, let's do it. Let's hop, let's hop <laughs> right into this. So, Sounds good. leading into it, first thing we'll see is the main chapter. 
In this main chapter, you'll have, as you guys can see, an easy mode and a hard mode. This is kind of two paths to kind of give you a choice of what you want to do. But on the left side there, just real quick, we got a little cool player item for Robin Van Persie. He's an event icon that you will see in the World Cup. But back onto the gameplay section of things you got here. So you can choose which one you want to go to, whether the top path or the bottom path. The bottom path will consist of just one match node, whereas the top path, which is the easy path, will have three skill games and one match. There are two other matches that are going to be after those matches. These will be challenge matches. These will be a little bit harder and a little bit more spicier than the matches before. There'll be a challenge match one and challenge match two. Challenge match one will probably be a little bit spicy. Challenge match two, you definitely have you definitely have a hard time with that one. If you do choose to go for the hard path, that one match will basically give you all the rewards of the top five nodes from the easy path. So essentially saving a little bit of time and being able to give more time into doing the challenge matches to help you get further into the game. And if you go to the next picture, you can see that there is more to show off. Here we have a ticket booth here. Purchasing this will be similar to what we've seen before. You can get some gems to help you spend on those cool packs we have with awesome players. There's also these quests that will be sprinkled throughout the event. You have score goals in this chapter, earn some reward points, and do a couple other things. Upon completing all these quests, you might get a little special player at the very end of it. So we can move on very, to the next picture and see some other stuff. So as I said earlier, there is Vidage. He's a special player that we're going to be getting that's going to be pretty awesome. He's an enhanced base icon. You will see his stats a little bit later, but that's kind of what we need to do to kind of get to this. You'll have to win 100 skill games or matches in this chapter. So that way it's known now. Completing one of the hard matches, the hard match mode, the first one, will count as completing all four matches of the easy path. So you will not be losing out by doing the hard mode or the easy mode. So we make sure that that's always fair for everyone, whether they want to be easy or hard, and how, and how much they want to go in on this. What do you think so far, Anto Antoine? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of uh, curious to see how that easy and hard path goes. So just to recap for folks, you're saying that if I choose easy, I get the same rewards as hard. It's just I have to play more skill games than the hard path. Exactly. In total, you get to play three skill games and one uh, normal match, which is about 30 minutes in game time. Got it. And I can only choose one every day. Is that correct? Exactly. Yes. So once you pick the easy match, the easy path, you cannot switch it up and go to the hard path. You are locked in on the easy path and you have to go through all the matches as well as a challenge match one and challenge match two. Very cool. And as we see here on the screenshot, there's the enhanced base icon Nemanja Vidic. Um, and then I see a few passes here with, uh, with Memphis Depay on the attacker pass but there's also a midfielder and defender paths. Are those coming later? Yes, they are. So as you can see on the bottom, there's a little time that indicates when they're gonna be coming. So right now, for the first week, um, once this event launches tomorrow, you have access to the attacker pass that will basically have a bunch of rewards, including skill boosts that are kind of geared towards the attacking offensive players. Next week, for the second week update, we'll be having the midfield pass get unlocked, and on the third week, we'll be having the defending pass get unlocked. So throughout the event, you'll basically be able to earn the credits through completing quests to progress and earn all the rewards given to you in those passes. Got it. And just to make sure that nobody's confused, but these passes aren't connected to like positional currency. Like there, I know some people might look at this and think, oh, this is like toddy. But it's actually not, right? This is just the currency is the same across all the positions, and what you earn in the main path um, is just isn't related to like attacker, midfielder, defender. So this is different from Toddy, correct? Yes, different from Toddy and Toss, where we have the attacker, midfielder, and defender ones. So the, well, this is the time we wanted to kind of approach this in a little bit more simpler manner, not to get too confusing and have you guys calculate too many odds and ends, but kind of give it a straightforward that like. Once you unlock the pass, 
you get the progress from the past, all of them at the exact same time when you complete quests. There won't be no jumping through hoops or trying to do anything too crazy. Got it. That makes sense. Let's uh, are we good to move on to our uh, our next set of screenshots? I believe so. And up next, what we have here is the reward path. And as we all know, the reward path has some pretty pretty players here. We'll be getting off at the beginning. You can see we have our very common spend and earn section, where you can see that spending those reward points here will earn you um, program tokens players, skill boosts, and coins. And if you go down further down the path into the next picture, we can see that there's some cool players you can earn on this path. One of them being Van Percy. We also have Mane and Delete as well too here. What do you think of these players, Antoine? I mean, I, I'm noticing obviously that, that Robin Van Percy, the 107. When I think of RVP and World Cups, I just instantly go to 2014 and that group stage match against Spain. Just the 5-1, him and Robin kind of exacting revenge on the Spanish team after the 2010 finals. So um, for me, this is kind of the memories that it evokes with the 107. But obviously that Mane and the Delete are look like great, great items. Um, it, it, as you said, right, you go through these, you spend the program points just down a reward path like you normally would in, in other sections. Exactly. And basically... There will be more warpaths coming in with the other groups. So as you can see here, we have this section primarily consisting of groups A and B. And as time goes forward, we'll be having C and D come out, E and F, and G and H. So feel free to wait or go dive in right away. Because for me personally speaking, I'm aiming for that Van Percy. He looks way too good to be passing up on. Agreed, but I'm also curious to see the players that come out for groups C and D, um, E and F, G and H, um, because there's there's some good looking icons in from countries that are, that are coming out then, as well as just players from from those teams. Like I mean, personally, I, I'm obviously a Canada fan, so I'm going to be waiting for that group F. But if you if you're interested in these groups A and B, it's Senegal, Netherlands, England. I mean, the U.S. are some of the top countries. But uh, it's uh, it'll be very interesting to see. For sure, for sure. But how about this? Move on a little bit forward to the next picture and see what else we have to offer. And we can kind of leave it a little up to imagination. So the next section I want to talk about with you, Antoine, is the bonus prizes. The bonus prizes is similar to kind of like a prize pull section where you use the program tokens you've earned to pull here and try to get the top prize. So we have a prize player, attacker boost, and gems. Once you've collected all the players from the top prize, you can kind of reset the prize pool to refresh it and get new prizes to obtain. Within these prize pools, you are getting other players that are, that are definitely useful for leveling up your new players. You're getting attack rank items as well as skill boost that are focusing on attacker positions as well too, which is always, always, always a good thing to have. For sure. And I, I'm seeing here, so just if I'm coming into this chapter, just to be super clear, is I'm using my tokens here. And when I claim, I can get anything from that prize pool. Is that right? Yeah. So the prize pool will have uh, a certain amount of which you can earn. So you can look at the prize play at the very top. There's only one out of one available to you. Once you collect that one prize player, it'll be zero out of one. The skill boosts on the second row in the middle, there's 10 out of 10. So you can possibly get 500 skill boosts just from here. The players at the bottom, got it. Similar situation where you get six players that are at 60 OVR 10 times. Oh, sorry, 10 players at 60 OVR 10 times. It's kind of a good way to like build up a lot of training exp as well too oh yeah no I, i'm obviously looking at getting some base players to uh to level up some of my guys so this will be helpful um and it looks like there's another side of this uh bonus prize section right if we go to the next screenshot well, there's probably a little bit more Ooh. it definitely is just going to talk about what you can get as a prize player in the prize player section there is a chance at getting the prime icon bird cap 
alongside yeah, getting he stands Harry ahead. Kane, De Jong, and Koulibaly. But we also have yeah, a section here that chat. if he can't pull him, oh yeah, he looks amazing, doesn't it? But I wanted to add on though was to say that if you can't get Burkamp and you say you yeah, have really bad luck like I do, you can always just spend up and try to earn it as a guaranteed section through this milestone. But hopefully you can get him because he has a chance of dropping as a prize player in the top prize. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking through the, the prize pool and it's it, it'll be kind of fun to see people who are going to get it. I mean, a possible top player from from that prize pool just from using your token. So um, I'm sure we'll see a few screenshots popping up on Reddit and Discord um, over the next couple of weeks. So that'll be very cool to see. For sure, for sure. I hope, all, I hope everyone a lot of good luck and a lot of good fortune because I want the bird camp and I know you want the bird camp too. But let's keep on moving forward to the next picture and see what else we, there's to offer. Ooh, so this next looks up interesting. Is, oh, it is very interesting. Here we got the weekend ranking section. If you remember, do you remember weekend tournament from last year? Oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, so we thought we'd kind of bring it back as a little, see if, we, if how people would like to have it. So this is what we call the weekend ranking section. Here you'll have an option of playing either a VSA head-to-head -head, or P, uh, regular match against an AI opponent to see how you rank and how much you can earn from this. So it's a very long and very complicated situation, but let me break it down for you real quick. So every weekend you'll have 10 chances over the course of the weekend from Friday to Monday. You can either play in custom VSA, VSA, head to head, or a normal match. With this, you will basically earn points depending on if you win or lose. If you win, you get to rank on a leaderboard, and depending on where you place on that leaderboard, you get a certain amount of rewards given to you. There's also a thing of divisions by OVR tiers. So here you have 80 to 95 OVR players, you'd have 96 to 110 OVR players, and 111 and higher OVR. The higher up in the OVR table you're playing, the higher the rewards you'd be able to earn. However, you cannot place a player that is lower than the max OVR on your lineup and play in the lower OVR. So for example, you cannot have a series of 60 OVR players and then one 110 player and play in the 90 to 85, 80 to 95 OVR section. You have to have players that are either 95 or lower OVR in your team to be playing in the low tier division. Same thing for mid tier where you have to have all the players between 96 to 110 OVR and then high tier will be 111 OVR and higher. This is to help avoid people kind of given a little, a little bit of those griefers, you know? You, go, you want to have it to be a fun competition and also people to be able to win. And if you want to do PvP or head to head or anything like that, you can easily just play by yourself by doing the AI match. Excuse me. Yeah, very cool. What uh, Chat, what are we thinking so far about this weekend ranking? So it, it kind of, to me, looks like something, some additional gameplay on the weekend. You come in, you can play some, basically your choice of, of a PvE match, um, head to head. Um, there'll be some extra options here and it's by OVR tier as well. So what are we thinking chat here? What's our first impression? I know this is kind of the, the folks in chat here. I know you guys have been asking for a lot of this competitive, um, style gameplay on weekends. And I know we haven't even shown the rewards, right? Trey, like there's some, there's some good rewards oh. in this section. We have shown the rewards yet. That will be next. I do want to add yeah. one thing though. At the very bottom, underneath the gameplay rule, you see there's a little 10 uh, diamonds there. There's three more at the bottom. So once a day from Friday to Monday, or Friday from Friday to Sunday, I should say, you can watch one ad to get you one play back. So in total, you can play a total of 13 matches rather than 10. But if you want to play the full 13 matches, there is no pressure. This is only to give you another chance of getting higher and better rewards. But talking about rewards, let's go see the next slide and see what's, what rewards you can earn. For sure. And I was just Matt. seeing one question in the chat. So Trey, just to confirm, 
every weekend it's 13 total matches right yes every weekend is 13 Got total it. matches the first 10 matches are for the whole weekend the extra one match is a per day thing where you if you want to you can watch an ad to get the extra play back got it now let's look so, at these rewards this is interesting for sure as you can see here um we played like one match and kind of placed into the bottom 90th percentile of the leaderboard so you can see here with the ranking rewards depending on where you place and which percentile you're in you get different amounts of rewards so if i place in the on the weekend if i place in the 50 to 100 percentile range i only get 50 gems and 75,000 coins but if i'm in the top five percentile of my group i can earn a 98 plus player 400 skill boost 250 gems and 500,000 coins and this is only for the low div low tier division as you go up to the mid and higher tier divisions you're able to earn better rewards that are much 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 sweeter these rewards will be sent to you um, a day or, or two before the weekly reset. So you'll definitely get them after the weekend has finished and we'll be able to, be able to calculate what you've done and how you um, how well you performed. And that's kind of our plan for that right now. Oh yeah. And I mean, just to let the chat know that we're looking at the low tier division rewards. So I assume a lot of you in the chat here, you're gonna be picking high tier and I see a few people say, I'm going to be top 0.01%. So I know a lot of you here are, are real pros when it comes to, to verse attack, head to head, even just playing AI matches. Um, so I know we, I don't know if we have the screenshot here for those, those top tier rewards, but last time I looked chat, they were, they were pretty spicy as Trey would say. <laughs> Oh, they're so spicy. I don't think we kind of captured them this time, but I want to keep them as a little secret because I want to have people yeah. send us screenshots and tag us and show us what they've earned and how well they're performing on the table tier. Oh yeah, but I, I think chat's gonna be doing real good on this uh, this weekend ranking. I cannot wait. Send me your screenshots, tag me in it. I will look. I will look and watch those. But let's move on to the next picture and see what else we got in store for you guys. What is so this? Is this a stadium? About. Yep, it is a stadium. So, in the weekend ranking chapter, one thing I didn't mention that you could earn are something called tickets. These tickets um, will help you kind of fund your stadium. The stadium section here has no purchaseability well, through the stores. If you want to get these tickets, you have to be part participating in the weekend tournament section. So what this is here is that this is an area for you to earn various different rewards. I don't know if you caught a, a screenshot of this, but essentially what you can earn from the section is skill boosts, gems, players, program currency. So you can get reward points from here as well too. And the last thing you can earn from this section is coins so you can earn these five things from this section and you can use those same tickets to upgrade those sections so when you first come into the section you'll be able to come in tap on one of these nodes and kind of just earn a free reward you will not have to pay anything it will not require you to do anything at all these will refresh every 12 hours based on the server time so it'll basically be from refresh time 12 hours later and then back to refresh time again so you can claim it at any point in time between refresh time and the next 12 hours from that. And then once it refreshes after those 12 hours, before refresh time again, you get to claim a second time. Um, you are able to upgrade this before claiming this as well too, if you do have enough tickets to claim for this. But as I said before, you'll only be able to claim tickets from the weekend, tor weekend tournament section, weekend, weekend ranking section, excuse me. And this will help you level up both your stadium and get some some good good currencies to help you level up your teams get some good players it'd be a lot to see for sure um with so trey just i just want to simplify here yeah trey i just wanted to simplify here for chat i'm just seeing kind of chats trying to understand what what's going on a little bit in this section it's it's new it, we haven't seen this before yeah. so if i'm understanding this correctly and i'm just going to summarize it for chat here 
you take the tickets yeah. you earn from the weekend rankings chapter you come in and you upgrade um any of these five categories so let's say for example i come in and i want to upgrade guest services so i upgraded to level five and then basically every 12 hours i come back and i just claim my rewards so i come back to my guest service node and i come every 12 hours and i come claim those rewards so basically chat yeah this is a spot you just come in to claim rewards and you upgrade things it's pretty cool right it's definitely cool and i've got to add in that when you upgrade it the rewards that you get do increase they're not just going to be the same 10 coins you get at the very beginning level one will be 10 coins level two will probably be 50 coins level three 100 level four a thousand level five ten thousand so on and so forth yep so if you move forward to the next image we can see something of what it looks like so with leveling it up your stadium will also evolve so here we have an image of a stadium you can earn by leveling up five areas five times so if you get all the areas to level five you get this free stadium which is the world cup stadium but on the right side that is the official this stadium cool image. Yeah. yeah it is and we also get this cool image on the side that also increases and changes as we level up our stadium as well too to kind of like mimic us building our own stadiums what do you think antoine got it yeah i mean i just want to make sure that chat knows that this isn't actually affecting your stadium when you're playing head-to-head -head or verse attack it's kind of like your theoretical stadium but what i'm most excited about is um the fact that every 12 hours i just have to come back and claim rewards in this chapter so i think that's what i'm most excited for and i've seen some of the rewards after I mean, this event is a long, it's a long time. There's a lot of weeks to go through a lot of days. So I'm just thinking every 12 hours and I'm coming back to check this to get rewards and I don't have to do anything really. To me, that sounds like a win. For sure. This is definitely geared to be very accessible and not to put pressure on anyone else at all. This is basically just a free reward for you to come claim. Yeah, I think that's really what we got to show it as to, to chat here is you're just upgrading and then once you've upgraded to where you want to be, you just come in and you claim. So I'm excited for it. Should be interesting. For sure, for sure. Are there any other questions you have about this, Antoine, that can kind of clear up for you or for chat? Um, let's see, chat. Were there any questions so far we had about, uh, I guess, the stadium chapter, but just the event in general? Like, what what is chat feeling so far? I know we've gone through a lot of content. This is a massive event. I mean, the FIFA World Cup is a massive event in itself, um, but I want to just check in with chat here. How are you guys doing? What are some questions so far that are that are coming to mind? So I'm seeing a few people asking about specific players and don't worry, we'll try to show off as many of these players as we can. We have a few queued up for later in the show. And I'm do, sure. I do see some star pass questions. Obviously that tray is something we can touch on um, when we That's get there. That's coming up for sure. That's coming Great. up for sure. Um, and then I'm just seeing, yeah, special questions about certain players. Again, chat, we just want to reiterate. So this is a week one of the FIFA World Cup live event. It's two groups per week. So this week one is groups A and B. So those are going to be the four teams from group A and the four teams from group B. So to list them off, it's going to be Netherlands, Ecuador, Qatar, and Senegal in Group A. So players only from those four teams, as well as England, Wales, um, Iran, and the USA. So there's eight total teams in Week 1. In Week 2, we're going to get the teams from C and D. So that'll be teams like Argentina, France, Denmark, Mexico, um, Poland. So that's where you're seeing Week 1, Week 2, Week 3, Week 4. We cover those all the groups with all the players so if there's a player that you're not seeing like say for example i'm seeing someone here going where is a vinicius jr item he's actually going to be coming out in week four for example or week five or in a future week um so that's something to keep in mind or even looking at like a, a player who plays for argentina he's going to be coming out in week two so 
Argentinian players in week two, week five, week six, so on and so forth. But just for this one, week one, we're looking at the first two groups in the World Cup. So I hope that kind of like clears it up for you guys. If you're seeing like, hey, where's my favorite player on Brazil? Where's my favorite player in Argentina? Where's my favorite player on Belgium or Spain? It's done by groups. Just to clear that up for everybody. Thank you, Antoine. I appreciate the clarity for that one as well, too. So um, yeah, I, we're probably wondering... good to move on to our next one, right? Next screenshot. For sure. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, chat. Our next screenshot is going to talk about the program players. So this section here is where you can kind of spend some guarantee points to help claim some players. So this is kind of allow us to attempt these different gotcha pulls we have available for you. If you look at the player right away, you basically will be getting something called a guarantee point. This guarantee point will basically allow you to claim one of the available players that you see here for sure. So right off the bat, we can see that it's Kubali, De Jong, and Kane, as well as two other ones that are the top players in this two groups at the moment. So what would happen here is that you come purchase the offer. If you don't get the player right away, that's totally A-OK. -okay. Even if you get the player, you'll still get some guarantee points. And once you get to 160 guarantee points, you'll be able to claim the player right away. And then next up after that, we can see the next picture. We can see the other two players that are available to us, which are Van Dyke, Sterling, and McKinney. So the big variety of players that are looking very, very nice, especially with this player item art. It looks so good. Am I right, Antoine? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm I'm looking obviously at that Van Dyke. I know a lot of people still use his Utah's Van Dyke, but knowing there's a 105 center back with World Cup art like that, he's got my attention right away. For sure, for sure. But let's move on to the next section. There's a little bit more that I want to show you guys still. Here we got the player collection. The player collection is similar to like a collection book where you get a lot of players and once you get all those players in this collection you get a free reward so off of here we can see that the group players that we're going to be having are collecting one of each group player from weeks one through four or over the course of the whole event and then you'll be receiving an awesome player at the very end of that so you need to get a group play a group a 92 plus OVR specifically to the event and not a base player from groups A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So the key thing for these players is that they cannot be earned from the exchange, nor can they be earned from the market. These have to be earned through one of the packs, either if it's part of the rewards chapter or it's part of the bonus prizes, or if you got lucky and got it from the weekend ranking, those players will all count towards this player collection. And if we go to the next section, there's more than just one player collection available to see. There's also ones for World Cup, basically where if you get a lot of those World Cup player items, you can kind of see which ones they are. There's also a section for the, the top stars. So here we have Kane, Van Dyke, Lewandowski, and Messi. There's also Top Stars Part 2, which is in the next picture we'll see, that has um, Mbappe, De Bruyne, Neymar Jr. and Ronaldo. There's also the three event icons. So there's very, these are all potentially free to play achievable. It's all about how you plan your time and what you want to focus on. So you get to pick and choose what you want to earn and how you want to earn that. What do you think, Antoine? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this, uh, this chapter. We haven't really done something like this before where the goal is to to really collect base players, event players, event icons, and then get rewards for doing that. So I think it, it'll be a nice little wrinkle to the event where you're going through, you're earning your rewards, but then you also keep that in the back of your mind that, hey, I want to actually get some of these players specifically to hit the collection limits and the collection requirements um, laid out. So I'm, I'm kind of excited for this one. It'll be a fun little like side path to really think about. Yeah, I'm 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 excited for this as well too. I 
I really want to see what people can collect and how they can collect it and what they can earn. Um, I really want to see, because I want to get all these players. And me as a player, this is just really exciting to be able to engage and just see my Dream World Cup team form and get all the top stars. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I think Chad is already going wild over some of these confirmed names because we haven't really done that before where we'll have like the players with the potential OVR. If you notice chat, it does say 105 plus. So I know people are going to be looking at this and thinking, wow, these are these are big players coming out. And I, I'm seeing already in the chat, people are are dropping dubs because they see the players they, they're excited for. They see OVRs that they're excited for. Um, I think this is going to create a lot of cool speculation about what exact OVR is Mbappe or De Bruyne or Neymar going to be because I see it in the collection chapter. It's it's a big, big event. And this is also available to you day one. So you can come in here, see and plan and kind of figure out what you want to wait for or what you want to be super excited for. But Antoine, oh, yeah. ready, ready to go to the next section? Let's do it. Let's do it. So on to the next section, we have the thing called Team Vote. And as you can read on stage, this is a section for you to vote on which team you want to succeed. So the key thing about this, though, is that you can't all vote five times or six times or 20 times for Brazil. We all want Brazil to beat Germany again, but we can't all vote for Brazil again. So what will happen is you can vote for one team from one of the from one team per region from one of the five regions. You get five chances to vote. So basically it's five votes spread across five regions for one team. So if you see the next photo, we can kind of see how the regions are laid out. So in Asia, we have all the Asian and Oceanic teams put together. In Africa, we have all the African teams. And then the next image, you can see some more of the other teams that are available to us. We have North America and South America. Uh, we also have the next section, which will cover Europe. And the next slide, which covers all big teams of Europe. So as you saw, those are the five regions that we have available to you. And each time you vote for one of those regions, you'll basically be getting a free player item that is kind of just us, our gift to you for kind of voting who you want to win. And please vote for Brazil. I'm not being biased here. I'm just being biased here. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? Adam? I don't think we can. I think we got to let the, the community decide. I know we have a lot of Brazilians in chat and I know I see Lucondo there saying you heard Trey, but we got to let, we got to let the community decide on these ones. I'm, I'm not, I'm not biased when it comes to South American teams there. There's obviously a lot of great, great countries there that are, that are in the world cup. So I'm going to say, let the, let the community decide on this one. <laughs> oh, definitely agree. Definitely agree. Like I said, I'm not biased, but both for you believe should win or who you like to win from the different regions. But with that, yeah. team votes covered. Want to go on to exchanges? Um, yeah, actually, one one last thing I just wanted to clarify for, for chat and everyone else tuning in is this team vote section. Um, I think if we had that in the previous screenshot, if I'm just going to look at that on my own end here, um, when it comes to the OVR boost, I just want to clarify for everybody that this is only for the victory players. And to be more specific, victory players are the 99 OVR players that you receive from the World Cup tournament mode for winning it or completing a certain level on professional all the way to legendary. So I don't want people here to kind of get confused and think that OVR boost will happen to all of the World Cup event players. This is only happening for specific players from the World Cup tournament mode, the 99 OVR players. So that more information obviously to come on with who's going to be getting those boosts when we get those the votes coming in. But I just don't want people to get confused and think that, oh man, this, this 105 OVR Van Dyke is going to get an OVR boost. No, it's going to be the 99 OVR victory players. So just want to clarify that for chat before we, we see people get a little confused. For sure, for sure. Thank you again, Antoine. I appreciate that. You bet. I think we're uh, we're ready to go to exchanges, right? That's, that sounds good to me. Let's go on to the next one. So here we do have the exchange section. These are some of the exchanges that will be available to you on launch. We have group A and B player. 
This exchange here is where you will basically be putting in a variety of different types of players to earn 100 plus OVR player from group A and group B. This also means that you will also be able to earn them for group C and D once those weeks have arrived and those players are available to you. This is a weekly refreshing player gotcha player um, exchange that you can attempt two times and will be available for you from the beginning all the way up to the end. The subsequent ones that come on later weeks will also be available to you up until the end of the event. There's also other things where here you have an elite ex exchange player where you can exchange your lower OVR players, so your 80s or 70 players to get an 80 plus player. A gold exchange player where you basically exchange your 60 plus OVRs to get a 70 OVR player. And your silver exchange player where you can exchange, if you need the training experience, you can exchange a 90 OVR to go down to the 70 OVR players. So we're giving you a variety of exchanges here for you to be able to either create training for yourself if you don't need to use those 90 OVR players, or if you still want to keep them, the inverse where you can exchange players to level up and get other items from this, right? Um, a lot With a lot of these player exchanges, we are also giving you what we'd want to call is these base players, but these base players are not your average base players. These are specifically to the World Cup base players. These base players will only be available to you during the World Cup. So every player you get here will no longer be what you see now as a base player. They will all have the diamond shape to them and they will all be looking very, very nice. Oh yeah, you a, lot, a lot of variety I think for the exchanges. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I'm, I'm excited though, obviously to get a bunch of, uh, of World Cup players in my team. Obviously this, this group A and B player, 100 plus um, exchange. There's going to be a lot of different options in there and obviously future groups coming out. So um, great job here on the exchanges. Really excited for it. For sure. Thank you for that. I really want to give you guys something for you guys to actually, if you get, don't have luck at all in the campaign, to be able to come back here, exchange some stuff and get a better player item to help increase your team, make you super strong, make you, uh, you know, do well on the pitch. Oh, yeah. Um, what's our, what are our screenshots coming up here? I think we've got a couple more to go through. Keep chat entertained. I think so. I think our next one is actually Star Pass. What did I say? Guess it totally right. So, we have Star Pass ahead of us. For Star Pass, you can see that our man, Rio Ferdinand, is our event icon. He's looking strong. He's a strong CB. Can't wait to see what stats he has. But... The first player we earned is a Senegalese, looking strong as a center mid. And on the free path, we see Roberts is our first um, Welsh player that we have as well, too, as a right wing back. And on the next slide, we can kind of see what other rewards are being out, are being there for us on the Star Pass. We do have a 100 plus OVR um, section for the paid path, and 9 plus down on the, on the free reward section. We do have the cool popcorn emote with footy here. And then the next side, we can see further down, there's also two new stadiums that will be given to you, both free, free and paid. So in this update, we will be giving us three new stadiums that are kind of there to you to collect, enjoy, and play with. Keep on going. On the next uh, screenshot, what do we have lined up for us? It is Michael Owen as our enhanced base icon at 101 OVR, similar to Vidic. And we have Rio Ferdinand, as I said earlier, as our event icon. Both two amazing players, both looking good. Just wow. Right, Antoine? Wow. Oh yeah, um, just Trey, um, one thing I'm seeing in the chat here is uh, a lot of people are noticing that it's a 28 days on this star pass and i think there's there's a little bit of an explanation behind that that we'll want to tell uh our viewers um so 28 days for this star pass does that mean there's another star pass coming out yes so with this i wanted to add there's two things i want to talk about this event in total is going to be quite the long event just to match the world cup with this intensity and this excitement 
the whole event will be going on for eight weeks or 56 days because of the how how long it is we didn't want to make you guys sit through one long star pass we decided to break star pass up into two parts so star pass one will be available for 28 days or a month starting from lunch up to 28 days later once the star pass is over with star pass number two will come out and be available for the next 28 days afterwards so you basically be having two event icons and two enhanced base icons available to you over the course of the, this long event to kind of give you guys more players, more action from the World Cup, and to get these. I keep looking at Ferdinand, he looks so good. But yes, to get these cool player items. Got it. And one other thing I think chat's going to probably notice and community's going to notice when they come through Star Pass is they're, they're probably going to be able to get through those first few levels of Star Pass fairly quickly. And then it'll kind of like get a little tougher as you get further down is there like kind of a bit more you can like add to that for chat so they kind of know what to expect for sure for sure with this star pass we've been trying to find ways of helping people get through star pass or at least get further to star pass a lot more than what they have been right now it's part of the reason why we kind of broke it up into two pieces we felt that it was too long and too grindy so we kind of made the beginning half of star pass a lot a lot quicker a lot more a lot more easier to level up with and then because we're giving you a lot of stuff very quickly we also had to make sure that you don't just um, blaze through everything right away so we kind of extended it for a little bit longer towards the end of things but we also made sure that while we extended it for a little bit longer towards the end we gave you more rewards and more stuff for the more time you'd spent earning those star pass credits so you will see that once you come in, you'll get to level five pretty fast. But if you stay consistent with it, by the end of the, the four weeks, you should be have completed the full star pass. No problem. Guaranteed. Yeah, I think that was always some feedback that I remember seeing a lot is, is people saying, how many, how many levels till I complete star pass? How many days can I finish it in? Will I be able to finish? Um, the uh, the star passes is, is always something like I, I, I was seeing in the community. So um, it's really great to see um, some changes just to make it a little more user friendly um, and make it feel like you're actually making progress um, in a faster way and obviously scale it to the rewards you're, you're earning along the way. So um, again, obviously some some spicy players on here, but also just a kind of a new way to, to work through star pass. For sure, for sure. So you'll still see like the, the the amount of credits required for StarPass to kind of double over time as you get a little further in. So it might seem like very little at first, but it'll just kind of slowly double up on you. You can kind of see as it goes forward, it'll be like 25 to 50 to 100 to 200 sort of thing, but it won't be a dramatic quick increase. It definitely will be over the span of time. It will get back up to the, the levels we had it before of 200 um, credits per level might go a little bit higher up to 300 400 but it won't be for 10 20 levels it'll be for like 10 levels each sort of thing so that way you're not really dragging on through the later levels you mostly get there and you have, you have something to work towards as you work towards ferdinand or owen depending on what your goal is 100 percent agree it, it'll be a nice little change um so i think this is our last screenshot trey uh, before for at least for the event um mm -hmm. We have a couple more of these players we want to show chat because I know we're kind of getting close to the hour mark on our on our show. Um, but uh, it's uh, it's been a real pleasure having you on, Trey. It's uh, I think we've had a lot of fun kind of like going through this event. Um, so I know chat is in here. Bunch of questions. Um, we covered a lot. <laughs> there's a lot to go through um yeah it how, how was it working on this event i guess just to give uh kind of the chat the community some sense like this is this is a lot of work that goes into this man you ask deep questions here i, I don't know what i can tell you guys <laughs> um for me it definitely was a lot of work but we wanted to get this right for you guys we want to make this very 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 much a rewarding and fun experience for everyone to play that no matter who you are you get a lot of progress you get a lot of players you get a lot of 
action. You have a lot of fun time playing this. And I also want to see some of your screenshots of how high you play so that we can rank and board. That's my main goal. But it definitely was an opportunity for us to work and to make a good fun event. Um, so can't say too much more past that, but it definitely was a lot of late nights making it perfect. Oh yeah, uh, you can see the amount of uh, of work and I guess attention to detail and, and really like the design that goes into to making an event like this. Um, I'm I'm excited for tomorrow. I know the community is is stoked, and I, I just I think we just can't wait to to dig our teeth into it and and start feeling that excitement of the World Cup. So thank you again for coming on the show, um, walking us through World Cup and giving us really like the in-depth explanation. It was, it was a real pleasure. Thank you, Trey. No problem. Anytime. That's why I come through, right? Awesome. Um, with that chat, we have a few more screenshots to run through here. Um, we're going to bring them up on screen uh, for a couple of these icons. Perfect chat. There we go. Um, we're going to get through these quickly. We had a few of them just to show. Um, and also just want to say that big thank you to, to Trey coming on. Does an awesome job. Knows these events so well, works on them. Um, and he knows his stuff. But uh, yeah, basically wanted to show off a few of these kind of featured players. Um, we got Rio Ferdinand here. Looks awesome as a 107. <laughs> Can't say more than that. We're gonna then move on to our next player we have here, which is Robin Van Persie. Take your screenshots of the show right now, folks, so you can share these with your friends. But Robin Van Persie there at the 107. Looking good. We're gonna move on to our next one as well for our players to showcase here and this is actually a prime icon Ashley Cole 109 that uh, we didn't actually see in any of the screenshots but he is in the event uh, just some insane stats pretty crazy to see uh, let's pull up our next player item here and that is going to be Dennis Burkamp the Dutchman at a camp position here and look at that prime icon, 109, as we said. Just the, the shot, 130. The dribbling, 128. Five-star weak foot. Yeah, this is uh, this is something. Those were the two primes that we have for the first week that we're showing. We'll have more to share in future shows. Let's uh, pull up our last of the icons here. We have Nemanja Vidic from Serbia. Um... 101 enhanced base icon that you guys saw there for the milestone in the main chapter. Um, stats as a center back, workable. I don't know if he'll be going into a lot of your squads given the the caliber of players you have already in there. But again, a solid kind of like free to play reward for, for just coming through the, the main chapter. Um, so those are kind of the icons we wanted to feature um, in their terms of their stats, which is great. Um, we are actually gonna go into giveaways <laughs> so i have to catch my breath a bit this is a lot to go through i'm seeing the chat is loving the the live event so far their first impressions huge dub 71 percent. i'm pretty happy with that a lot of the stuff we went over today it, it's going to be a lot to to kind of register in and i think you're going to see tomorrow when the event is live and you're there playing you're going to be like wow this all comes together there's a lot of cool stuff in here there's all these players that i love uh, these the countries that I'm supporting, I get to get the players, build a lineup with them. Um, and if you don't see them, just know that they're coming in later weeks because we're doing it group to group. Um, so that was kind of the overview. I'm ready to get into giveaways chat. I don't know about you, but you guys have jumped the gun already. You know what's going to be. It's hashtag World Cup. Let's get those giveaways going. Let's pull up our first giveaway player. We have a screenshot for him. Let's show them up on screen just so you know who you might win. It is none other than Harry Kane 
106 OVR striker with the different action shot there as well. Five star weak foot. I mean, shooting at 125, he's 106. What else needs to be said? It's a, uh, it's a good prize there. We actually have two other giveaway players. We're gonna move to our second one here, and that is Virgil Van Dyke, our 105 center back. If you know there, um, he is wearing the blue Dutch kit. Um, his regular one in the event is in the orange kit, but this one we found a really nice shot here um, for his giveaway item. So again, like this this guy's gonna be unreal to play with. I did uh, I did help choose that that photo for the Van Dyke. I, I kind of like was helping out with the team and I was like, man, this one this one looks good. Like just the blue kind of that shot. But anyways, um, we've got a third giveaway player to show here. And that is none other than Sadio Mane, his ex-teammate at Liverpool. And again, I, I I'd helped out with this action shot as well. I was pretty happy with it. It looks really cool with the their away jersey. But yeah, that that Mane again, 105. Um, so we just showed those three giveaway ones. Um, we'll keep this Mane on the screen for a little bit here. Um, you guys are all putting in hashtag World Cup. That is fantastic. Um, you know the drill at this point. We're going to be drawing five winners, and it's your choice of any of those three giveaway players um, between Kane, Van Dyke, or Mane, um, and you can add them to your team. So we're going to be um, drawing the winners very shortly. Um, you're going to be receiving a whisper from our FIFA mobile Twitch account after the stream. So just make sure that you follow our Twitch account. So follow us because if you win, um, you're going to be receiving a whisper and we'll get your information on how to get you your giveaway player tomorrow in time for the new event. So give us a follow if you don't already do so, just so if you do win, we can get you all sorted. So we have our first winner coming through here. We'll put that up on the screen. And our first winner is Boris FIFA Mobile. So B-O-R-Y-S FIFA Mobile. Congrats, you are first winner. You get a choice between Kane, Van Dyke, or Mane. So I see chat, you guys are putting the hashtag in there for World Cup. I am curious, out of the three giveaway players here though, who would you choose? Like who do you think is actually the most exciting of these three? Because I know a lot of people say Van Dyke right off the bat, but I was just curious if that Mane or Kane changed anyone's mind. Um, we have our second winner coming through already, and that is going to be Jose Monroy 101215. You see on the screen below there. Make sure you follow the Twitch account um, at FIFA Mobile Twitch here, because if you do win, if you're one of the winners, we need to be able to send you a whisper. And sometimes that can only happen if you follow us. And we're going to just show Kane here as one of the other giveaway players we have. As I said, chat, like when we were talking about those player items, I said that by themselves, the player items of the flags may not be the most like amazing thing in the world where you go, wow, that is such a beautiful player item. But I think when you have the national kits on here and you really just have the full action shot and you see all the information, it comes together really well. And you don't see it in these screenshots, but they are animated. So it just adds to that real feeling of this is the World Cup. This is this is like the national team. This is kind of, it, it all comes together really nice. We got our third winner coming up here, chat. It is, it's Lucas08. Congrats to It's Lucas08. It's our third winner. Chat, we got two more winners to go. If you haven't already, hashtag World Cup. How many people do we actually have in stream right now? I'm curious to see. I haven't checked that in a minute. I know we were peaking at around 4,000 or so. Oh, we're about 2,400 here. Not bad, not bad, chat. I think people saw the event and they're like, I'm happy. Let's, uh, I can work with this information, but... You guys know the drill though. You stay until the end, you got a chance of giveaways and you got a chance at this Van Dyke. 
with that. Whew. That blue kit. I'm going to try to pronounce this fourth winner, but I don't think I'm going to have a good chance here. It's like Z-M-N-G Hadar. So Z-M-N-G-H-A-D-A-R, just below there. If that's you, congrats. You won your choice of three giveaway items. Hey, it's Lucas08 saying, I can't believe I finally won something. Congrats, man. Congratulations. Who are you choosing? If you don't mind me asking. I see it's Lucas in the chat. I'm curious who you're going to pick out of those three. Is it going to be Mane, Van Dyke, Kane? And we have... Our fifth winner coming up just now. The winner is for our fifth giveaway item is, give me one second, drum roll please. It is bricks underscore LOL. Congratulations, you are our fifth and final winner for the World Cup giveaway player items. Again, chat, please follow us on Twitch if you haven't done so already. Just hit that follow button um, because we're going to need you to follow us because we're going to send you a whisper after the show to make sure that you get your player items if you've won. And even if you didn't win, just give us a follow because we want you to know when we're going live. We go live every two weeks. Um, at around this time, around reset. Uh, we've been changing up the time a little bit. I think we're going to stick to um, about one hour after reset. There's a little bit of some funny business with like daylight savings and what we had already scheduled. But we have more shows coming up for World Cup. We have more updates coming up for World Cup. Um, so we're going to pull out of these uh, these screenshots here. Um, again, chat, thanks for uh, for tuning in. I am... I'm overwhelmed at this point with the amount of World Cup stuff. I'm excited. I can't wait. First game of the actual World Cup is Sunday. This event, though, is coming at you live tomorrow. It's just week one update as well. Oh, my light's a little flashing here. <laughs> Sorry about that, chat. Um, my light seems to have gone out. Oh, we got a little issue here. Um, but anyways, something's flashing. One sec. Oh, there you go. All right. Pull that back up. Little, little funny business here. <laughs> um, anyways, chat, it was great. There we go. We're back up. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. We're wrapping up our, our video anyways here. Um, it was a pleasure as always, chat. I hope you had fun looking at this World Cup um, live event coming to you tomorrow. As always, Trey does an awesome job making this an epic stream. He gets to show off the event, give us kind of a designer's viewpoint on it and explain it well to you guys and i think there's a lot of cool stuff going on in the event a lot of obviously great rewards and it's only groups a and b so only the teams for those first two groups in this first week future rick's gonna have more players it's gonna be super exciting so make sure you follow us on twitch on our other socials i'll see you around for now though have a great rest of your evening morning or afternoon or wherever you are in the world have a great rest of your day um and i'll catch you around See you all later. Bye-bye.